Hi there! Thank you for checking my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This is the quick quiz for our lesson ng ating Rudy Wednesday's video ng had, had, has, at have been na past progressive. This is one of your most requested videos na ituro ko sa inyo and uh, I really wanted to have this ready para sa malapit na mag-exam kaya ginama ko ito for you guys. In this quick quiz, there are five questions. I'll give you five minutes for uh, the entire thing. And then we are going to answer each of them and I'm going to explain kung paano makuha yung tamang sagot after. Okay? If you haven't seen the video lesson appeared dito, don't forget to hit yung I button dito sa taas. Sa so upper right hand corner. Panoorin nyo muna yung lesson before even attempting this quiz. Kasi mas maganda kung naintindihan nyo muna yun bago nyo to subukan. Okay? And uh, if you're enjoying this and you want to um, make me, uh, to encourage me to make more, uh, you can comment below dun sa inyong score. Okay? So if you're ready, get your pen and paper ready or kung ano yung inyong writing implement kung sa cellphone kayo nagsasolve. And uh, your timer starts now.
All right, let's see how you did. So, simulan natin sa first sentence. So, I blank waiting for an hour when the school bus finally arrived. So, uh, in this case, like I showed you sa video ko, may yung flow chart natin. Unang tanong, uh, dahil ing siya, meron bang time period? Now, if you see here, meron ano tayo eh, meron tayong length of time, yung an hour. So, naghihintay daw siya for an hour. Next question, natapos ba yung paghihintay niya? Now, you can see right here, merong nakalagay na when the school bus finally arrived. So, naghintay siya one hour lang in the past, natapos din one hour after in the past kasi may nangyari na, which is nangyari na dumating yung school bus. The, the school bus arrived. So, dumating din yung school bus dahil arrived siya in the past. In the past din siyang nag-interrupt. Yung second action also happened in the past. So, this would be had been. I had been waiting for an hour when the school bus finally arrived. I really hope you got that right. Medyo simple naman yung ating example. Kahawig din nung example natin sa video lesson. Okay? Now, number two. She blanked my constant companion since we were born. Okay. Now, ang clue natin dito, again, unang tanong, uh, ito ba ay may time frame? Meron bang length of time? Now, we see right here, may nakalagay na since. Right? This is one of the telltale signs na ito ay present perfect progressive. Kasi may since. Ibig sabihin, nagsimula sa past, nangyayari pa hanggang ngayon. So, ang next question na would be, okay, since ito ay nagpapatuloy, hindi ito natapos. Next question, yung subject ba ay singular or plural? Now, ang nakalagay dito is she. So, ang she is singular. So, instead of have been, this would be has been. She has been my constant companion since we were born. So, buhay pa naman sila pareho hanggang ngayon. Magkasama pa rin sila hanggang ngayon. So, it would be has been. I hope you got that right. Now, sentence three. They blank working tirelessly on the project for a year when the unthinkable happened. So again, unang tanong, ito ba ay uh, may time frame, may period of time. Now, nakalagay dito for a year. So, ibig sabihin, check tayo doon. So, uh, this would be um, your first clue. Now, the problem is, next question, natapos ba siya in the past? And nakalagay dito, when the unthinkable happened. So again, nangyari na yun in the past. Naputol siya, in, na-interrupt sa past. May yung second action will also happen in the past. Dalawa yung action natin dito. So, ito ay they had been working tirelessly on the project. Nagsimula sila noon. Nagpatuloy sila noon. Natapos din noon. Nung the unthinkable happened. When the second uh, action happened. Okay? Next, number four. The car companies blank busy fulfilling their quota since the year began. Okay? So, again, unang tanong. Uh, ito ba ay may time frame? May time period? Meron bang uh, since or from? Now, nakalagay dito, since the year began. So, that is your first clue. My since. So, which means, ito ay uh, kailangan natin pag-usapan pa. Um, nangyari ba siya in the past? Nagsimula ba siya in the past? Yes. Natapos ba siya? Now, wala namang sinabi, walang indication na natapos siya dahil since din naman yung nakalagay. Ibig sabihin, hanggang ngayon, nagtatrabaho pa rin sila. They are still fulfilling their quota. So, this would only be either has been or have been. Ang tanong, Yung car companies ba, is it singular or plural? Now, yung, hindi yung car ang bida dyan, ang pinag-uusapan is the companies. So, ang companies, ibig sabihin, marami sila, maraming kumpanya. So, it's a plural. So, ibig sabihin, yung, yung magiging form, dapat walang S, this will be have been. The companies have been busy fulfilling their quota since the year began. Okay? So, have been yung magiging sagot dyan. Now, kung ano nakalagay dyan ay the car company, then you would have has been. The car company has been busy fulfilling uh, its order since the year began. Pwede yun. Okay? So, bakit? Kasi nga, companies, plural siya. Okay, next, number five. Ito medyo komplikado ng onte. I raised the level a little bit just to check yung inyong pag-iintindi ng subject. So, kung itong number five dito kayo magkakamali, I understand that. Um, nilagay ko lang just so you could be ready for anything that the... Uh, exam throws at you pag nag-exam na kayo. So, sabi, she said her skin cleared up because she blank following a skincare routine for six months. Again, if we break down natin doon sa ating flowchart, unang tanong, meron bang period of time? Nakalagay dito for six months, right? So, yes, may period of time. Ang next question would be, natapos na ba? Natapos na ba siya in the past? Now, ang nakalagay kasi dito, sumunod siya sa skincare routine. No? So, siguro yung meron siyang facial cleanser, toner, ganyan, ganyan. Alam nyo na yon yung mga kakikayan na gano'n, no? Ang ngayon, ang tanong, natapos ba siya in the past? Ang clue mo would be yung interrupting na sentence here. Okay? Yung nauna. Sabi dito, she said her skin 
cleared up. Ibig sabihin nangyari in the past, right? Malinis na yung skin niya. Malinis na, natapos na, because she fo- blank following a skincare routine for six months. So, tanong, ngayon ba nagsiskincare pa rin siya o tapos na? Now, dahil ang nakalagay dito ay her skin cleared up, ibig sabihin, nalinis na yung balat niya noon pa, yung epekto nangyari na noon pa, you can say that this should be she had been following a skincare routine for six months. So, bakit? Again, kasi nga, nalinis yung mukha niya noon pa. So, ibig sabihin, ang kwento would be, alam nyo yung kaya may pinsan ka or ate ka, like skincare routine siya, anim na buwan, nalinis yung mukha niya, pero hindi ibig sabihin na no, nagpatuloy pa siya hanggang ngayon. Alam nyo yun? Kasi kung nag, kunyari, nagkiklindamycin ka, no? anti-acne ka ng anim na buwan, hindi naman pwede gawin forever yun. Kasi nalinis na yung, bu- yung mukha niya, tapos na yun in the past, had been na siya. Now, kailan to magiging has been? Okay? So, magiging has been yan, kung ang nakalagay dyan would be, um, she, she said that her skin is clearing up because she has been following a skincare routine for six months. Mas may posibilidad pa yon kasi ibig sabihin nga, again, hindi pa tapos na na-clear up yung skin niya. Kaya lang ito, tapos na-cleared up na. Eh. So, magiging had been na siya. Yun yung pinaka-sure na sagot. Okay? So, uh, I hope you learned something today. Uh, if you did, click thumbs up. Make sure to share this video with your friends para mag, uh, matutungan din natin sila. No? And if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell icon. Para malaman ninyo as sa new video posts. There are more of these including yung part 2 at uh, probably part 3 din ng series natin dito sa differentiating has, have, at had been. So, uh, ayaw nyo yun mamiss. Mag-subscribe kayo para malaman ninyo pag ready na siya. And if you want to reach out to me directly, you can go to www.facebook.com slash team like for uh, information sa ating live review events, online review program, and sa mga uh, uh, reviewers that I made. Okay? So, I'd love to hear back from you guys. Um, and if you want to comment down below, I'd love to hear back from you. Thanks, guys. God bless you. Never stop learning. Aja-aja kayo na sa next video. And bye for now.